Doctor Who Story by Story Remembrance of the Daleks Review Just the Facts Remembrance of the Daleks was the first story of season 25 and starred Sylvester McCoy in his second season as the seventh Doctor together with his new companion Ace, played by Sophie Aldred, who had been introduced in the closing story of the preceding season, Dragonfire. A four-part story, Remembrance was written by new writer Ben Aronovich and directed by Andrew Morgan, as well as being produced by John Nathan Turner in his eighth year as the show's producer, and script edited by Andrew Cartmel in his sophomore year in that capacity. Blot Remembrance of the Daleks sees a dark and sinister side emerge to the previously entirely whimsical Seventh Doctor, as he lays a cunning scheme to lure Daleks into a trap by having them steal the hand of Omega, a Gallifreyan device of tremendous power that he has left on Earth in London in 1963, the site of the very first story in An Earthly Child. However the Doctor's plans go very much awry when a separate Dalek faction, which has broken off from the other Daleks over issues of racial purity, also arrives on the scene and is also after the hand. The Doctor must try to keep Earth and the military safe while ensuring that the situation goes the way he intended. Guest Cast There is an excellent guest cast assembled for this story including Simon Williams of Upstairs Downstairs fame, as group Captain Gilmore, Pamela Salem, who appeared in the season 14 Tom Baker story The Robots of Death, as his scientific advisor Rachel, esteemed character actor George Sewell, also known to genre fans for the sci-fi series UFO, as the wannabe fascist Ratcliffe, and the much-loved Michael Sheard as the headmaster of Coal Hill School. Sheard was already well known to Who fans for a variety of appearances in the series throughout the years, including in the Peter Davison story Castro Valva, the John Pertwee story The Mind of Evil, and two Tom Baker stories, The Invisible Enemy and most famously Pyramids of Mars. Sheard also had a wide and extensive career in television and film, with one of his credits being a highly amusing cameo as none other than Hitler in the 1989 Steven Spielberg film Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. His casting here as the headmaster is a sly nod to arguably his most famous role however, as the much feared, much hated and much mocked, though never to his face, teacher from hell Mr. Bronson on famed British high school drama Grange Hill. Terry Molloy, who had played Davros throughout the 80s as well as appearing as undercover policeman Russell in season 22's Attack of the Cybermen, reprised the role as the insane Dalek creator, although his role in the story was both significantly reduced from his previous appearances and kept a surprise to audiences, with the character only emerging from his encasement as Dalek Emperor towards the end of part 4. Trivia Remembrance is only the fourth story of the classic series to have a pre-credits sequence, with the others having only been done on special occasions. The season 19 premiere Castro Valva opened with a reprise of the fourth Doctor's regeneration into new Doctor Peter Davison. The 20th anniversary special The Five Doctors had featured a clip from the Dalek invasion of Earth featuring William Hartnell as the first Doctor. As Hartnell had passed on many years previously this would be his only representation in that story, with Richard Herndl playing his incarnation for the anniversary, and in time and the Rani the previous season, included out of necessity by producer John Nathan Turner in order to establish the sixth Doctor's regeneration into new Doctor Sylvester McCoy. This story was also transmitted in the cam stereo sound, albeit only in London, for the very first time in the history of the program. Remembrance of the Daleks was novelized in 1990 by original author Ben Aronovich. It was released on video in 1993 in a special Dalek tin box set along with the William Hartnell Dalek story The Chase, and re-released in 2001 as part of a W. H. Smith exclusive Davros box set. 2001 also saw the serial released on DVD for the first time, however the DVD was not without its problems, most infamously a major cock-up which saw the scene in part 1 in which a soldier was exterminated by the Dalek actually losing the on-screen laser effect.
Copyright issues also meant that the UK release of the DVD lost a number of period Beatles songs that were included on the original broadcast. The serial was re-released in a remastered version, again as part of a Davros box set, in 2007, and then given a special edition 2 disc re-release in 2009, in which both the effects mistakes and the Beatles songs were again included. The story was also included in issue 29 of the Doctor Who DVD Files magazine in 2010. Fan Reaction At the time of first transmission Doctor Who had been going through a critical trough, even among its own fans, for several years. Season 24 had been a very lightweight, even silly, season, partly as a continued reaction to the Michael Grade BBC manufactured controversy over the violence in season 22, partly due to the lead actor's comic history, and partly due to the sheer ridiculous lack of time in which everyone involved had to prepare the season following an 11th hour recommission. With season 25 cast and crew had the time for reflection and to decide exactly what kind of program they really wanted to make. Fans had suggested to Andrew Cartmel that he watch older stories such as The Seeds of Doom and The Talons of Wen Chiang. Cartmel was particularly impressed by Talons, and both the series and The Seventh Doctor began to move away from the very lightweight season 24 style and toward a much darker and more dramatic approach. Remembrance of the Daleks was the first result of this new approach and was a massive success on every front. As well as gaining the highest ratings the series had enjoyed for three years, it was also massively popular with the show's fandom and was voted best story of the season by a poll in the official Doctor Who magazine. While there is a very small vocal minority of fans who hate the era in general, and fandom as a whole can be notoriously fickle. The popularity of Remembrance has never really wavered and the story has also been wholeheartedly embraced by the new generation of fans who have discovered the program via the new series. In 1998 Doctor Who magazine ran the first of what has become a five-yearly tradition of polls to determine the reader's favorite stories of all time. Remembrance came in sixth place on the first poll, on the second poll. In 2003 on the 40th anniversary of the program, it ranked 7th. In 2008, with the new series at this point up and running, the story fell to 14th place but in the most recent poll in 2013 on the show's 50th anniversary, it regained its place in the top 10, coming in at number 10. The magazine also noted that the McCoy era in general had experienced a resurgence of popularity thanks in large part to newer fans. What I think While I may be gradually beginning a slow but sure reputation as that cunt who disagrees with everything fandom says, this is not going to be one of those times. Not that that was ever really likely anyway, given that the McCoy era is my era of the show, and is still one of my absolute favorites and Remembrance of the Daleks is one of the best of the era, albeit not its absolute best in my not particularly humble opinion, and falls squarely into my all-time top 20 favorite stories. Actually I rewatched this story just recently after having not seen it for over five years, and was almost shocked by just how fantastic the story really is. Sylv and Soph immediately click as the best TARDIS team since Tom and Lala, the guest cast is great, the direction is top notch, the 60s atmosphere is perfectly achieved, and the story is fast paced, exciting and clever. All in all remembrance is a fantastic piece of Doctor Who the likes of which we have not experienced in the current program for many a year, and gets nothing less than an A plus from me.